Some made 30,000% on Bonk, others made 14,500% on Cock, and now the next ecosystem is here. Injective is absolutely booming, and in this video, I'm going to talk about three meme coins with the potential to see astronomical gains in just the next few days if we can act fast. So do me a favor, hit that like button, and let's get into today's video. Now, as we look at what's going on right this second with Injective, the number of addresses absolutely skyrocketing over 150,000 in just the last 24 hours. And we're also seeing that there's over 48,000 that are actually being active on a day to day basis, which is extremely exciting because given that it's meme season and given that Injective is blowing up and there's three very small cap minnow coins or meme coins on Injective, well, we're in the right place, right? Now, what on earth is Injective and why is it garnering so much attention right now before I dive into those three meme coins? Because as well, guys, they're not the easiest things to purchase. And I'm going to show you exactly with a little tutorial on how you can do that later. And I will also be buying them myself. This is obviously not financial advice. This is meme coin territory. Everything has the potential to go to zero but I think these could be good ones. Now, a blockchain built for finance, backed by some of the biggest names in the entire crypto space, ranging from Binance to Mark Cuban. You can see that there's been over 3 million transactions happening on chain so far, and that number is accelerating over the last few days as this particular protocol is gaining attention. 0.8 second block time, super fast ecosystem developing all the time. Now, there's a number of things that are perhaps building towards Injective being so successful at the moment, and that is perhaps the decentralized application that are being built on top of Injective, okay? Some of those ranging from Helix, which we'll look at a little bit later when we work out how to go and buy different meme coins, and Mito, etc. Now, Helix is basically a decentralized exchange, similar to Uniswap, but much more effective. Mito brings in a groundbreaking protocol to revolutionize the way that automated trading, launch pads, and yield generation occur. Now, that's also interesting as people become more knowledgeable about crypto, they'll get into more things to do with yield farming uh, and other sort of trading, launch pads, etc. Black Panther, an innovative asset management tool designed for helping you achieve superior returns on your digital assets, and also you've got Tails, which is an NFT marketplace. All of these particular ones are starting to gain a lot of attention. And that's great because obviously as the ecosystem builds and those decentralized applications that are built on top of it, we're going to get a kind of a lot more volume and things coming through. So overall, looking pretty good. Now, the Injective token itself is used for governance on the platform, also to do things like paying fees and other bits and pieces. It has a very high token supply, and that's why some people are not so interested in investing in the coin itself. I myself have been invested for a while, and we are seeing a massive amount of growth as it's up over 26% in the last 24 hours or so. So all these things in mind, meme coins. Now, guys, it's very damn difficult to pick a winning meme coin because many of them will completely fail. And we have to be prepared when we're investing in meme coins to understand that many of them will completely fail because there's no real exact science to how we find them. But there's a good reason that Bonk was exploding and good reason that Cock then exploded as well. Solana is an ecosystem that's been seeing a huge amount of growth over the last few months. Avalanche then followed on behind Solana. Bonk is built on Solana. Cock is built on Avalanche. Therefore, you would anticipate that the next meme coins to see some serious growth would be on an exploding ecosystem. Therefore, INJ seems like a good one. Then I've gone away and I found three meme coins that could be of interest to us. Now, before we go and work out which of those meme coins we're going to get, we need to work out how on earth we're going to go and buy meme coins on Injective because maybe it's a little bit tricky. And first of all, we need to come across to hub.injective.network because basically what you need to do, guys, is create an Injective wallet or a place that you can put Injective tokens uh, in order to go and buy meme coins. You may have noticed that a lot of these meme coins are on tiny exchanges. If you're on Ethereum, you can use Uniswap. If you're on Avalanche, you can use Trader Joe. But Injective may be a little bit more challenging. And that's good because it means that there's a bit of a pause before everyone dives into the space until obviously I've made this video. So maybe act fast. Now what we can see, Injective Hub. Now what we're going to do is click on Wallet here. And you're going to see it's asking me to connect a wallet to the Injective Hub. I'm just going to click Confirm. And I and myself am using MetaMask. Now what you want to do is then put in your password and you can see it's going to ask me to sign a few different bits and pieces in order to connect. I just then click connect. 
and you can see that I'm now connected and it's given me a wallet address on Injective. That was easy, wasn't it? Now, in order to buy Injective, you can go across to KuCoin or you can go across to Mexi or wherever else. There's a link for Mexi down below in the description. Now, what you will need to do is this. If you're using KuCoin, you can send INJ or Injective tokens on the Injective net. And then simply, you can do that to this wallet address here. You can see I can just click on that copy bit. That's given me my Injective wallet address. However, if you can only send them on Ethereum, that's also not a problem, but you'll need to send your Injective tokens to your Ethereum MetaMask wallet where the code can be found up here. Literally copy that code and then send Injective on the Ethereum network. So just to recap, if we're gonna send Injective on the Injective network, we can send directly to this one here. If, however, we're going to send it on Ethereum, then we need to send it to MetaMask. Now, if we send it to MetaMask, then you can see that we just need to click down here on the Injective Hub and click on Bridge. Now, you'll see that I have some tokens in the Injective Protocol, 24, or I can flip that over and you can see I've got the Ethereum wallet up here with currently no Injective tokens in. Either way, it wouldn't really matter. I just need to bridge them so that eventually I get tokens into my injective wallet, which is here. But you know, you didn't come here to hear me talk about all this stuff. I know you want to know which meme coins I'm talking about and how we're going to buy them. So first of all, we need to come across to helixapp.com. Now, I have obviously already got some injective tokens in my wallet, which I showed you how to do on the bridging before. So if you're not sure how to do that, go back and do that again. Okay, what we can see then, I've got, if I click on Injective, now what I can do is click on Start Trading on the Helix application. And then at the top, you can see I've got a button that says a trade. Now, all I would need to do is to come down and click on Swap. Now you can see, because I've got my INJ balance in that wallet, if I want to change my INJ balance to something else, like USDT, I could do that just by clicking the number here and then changing the amount that I've got in here. Of course, we're not here to create some USDT. We're here to create some meme coin millions, or at least begin with a shot. So what are we gonna do? Well, first of all, we need to go and find ourselves some meme coins and then understand a little bit more about what makes meme coins grow. Now, if you come across to Twitter, link down below, guys, First of all, give me a follow over there because every day I'm posting various different bits and pieces about what's happening in the charts, different stuff to do with various meme coins and a lot more other stuff. So make sure you're giving me a follow over there if you want to catch all of this stuff I'm talking about on YouTube one to two days before it even comes out live here. Now, let's find some meme coins on Injective. If you go across to CoinGecko, you can find very simply the category for memes. So click on category and then select memes. Now what we can see is some of the largest gainers in the last few hours, some of the trending coins and things like that. And you know, we wanna perhaps stay away from the ones that have already been booming for the last like four or five days or more. Potentially if they've been booming for like one or two days, not necessarily the worst, okay? But be very cautious, not necessarily the worst, okay? But now, actually, luckily for you, I've already selected three on Injective that I want to talk about. And this is the first one. Now, I want to kind of talk about what it is with a meme coin that kind of gets a meme coin going. And it's really not that in-depth or challenging, okay? It's challenging in that you have to have a little bit of luck and maybe spread your bets a bit, okay? But there's no, like, set formula other than what we're looking for is a kind of a building community that are come from nothing with a very low market cap to suddenly build. If it's already got a big market cap, I'm talking like $10 million plus, you're not going to be making your kind of 40, 50 Xs in just the next day. But you've got to be aware, guys. There's a good chance that you could end up with nothing at the end of all of this. So it's very much, you know, don't put in your life savings onto stuff like this, guys, because it's highly speculative. But... Here's one, dog with a katana, okay? A dog with katana, and it's called katana. It's built on the injective ecosystem. Now, what you can do is go across and look at the telegram. You can see as well, coming down through, it's like cool bits of art and stuff like that, you know, and also it's already managed to get some kind of a following. But what we can do is we can take this code here and go across to Tweet Scout, and just by posting the URL or copying and pasting, sorry, the URL into Tweet Scout, 
then we're going to get an idea of what this is kind of all about. You'll see coming on here, this is not even available yet because this is a very new coin. This is interesting, okay? Because actually they're starting to gain a lot more in terms of score and things like that. So over the last few days, it's starting to get more interest. It's getting some more top influencers following it. You know, it doesn't take much to get a meme coin off the ground. You know, Cock had only a few thousand followers the other day and it's now around 28,000 followers. People are looking actively for meme coins today, I'm sure you're aware. Therefore, we've got Dog with Katana as our first option. And that's what I'm going to go and buy now. So if we go back to Helix, uh, what was it? It's called Katana. So I need to know what the coin was called. I know what it's called because on here, you can see dollar sign Katana, uh, and that is on Injective. Now, what we can do over on Helix is click on where it says Market, and I can search for Katana. And you can see, currently in the last 24 hours, Katana is down 72%. Okay, fair enough. Let's click on it anyway. So what am I seeing? Well, guys... I'm seeing a meme coin that has already seemingly kind of dropped off the face of the earth and it's probably not worth buying. But stick with me, okay? We're going to look at two more, which would probably be better. I just want to show you that maybe I won't buy this because obviously it's down 72%. And what else I'm looking at? This is the order book, okay? And this is the number of trades. There is literally no trades, right? The second kind of going through particularly quickly, okay? Because it's now 13.57 on a Tuesday and currently you can see 13 and you know there's like one or two trades happening every hour i don't want to be involved in a coin like this especially when i'm looking for kind of hype mean coins that might come up and get picked up out of nowhere on to the next one then a little bit more interesting bigger following also getting followed by some other bigger influences in the space such as virtual bacon and other stuff obviously you know the shiba inu kind of look always very popular when it comes to a meme coin let's just copy this again dog with nunchucks now everyone tweets out we can see something a little bit more positive with ninja okay 5.6k followers uh and what we're seeing is a real big increase or rapid kind of increase in the number of followers and the score over on twitter which is much more positive okay i like the look of that so we come back we've got ninja as uh, the code here so we know ninja dollar ninja let's go back then to helix click on the markets Click on Ninja, and then you can see Ninja, dog with nunchucks, okay? Uh, click on that. Looking at Ninja, we can see that there is a very new bit of data. It's starting to look like it might be moving. So, personally, I'm going to have a crack at this uh, and see if I want to buy it or not. Now, limit or market. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, which hopefully by now you are, you'll understand this. This up here is the order book. Now, the red ones are sell trades, and the green ones are buy trades. Now, if I want to go and buy... Uh, at the current market price, I would click on a market. Now, let's say, for example, the I want to buy an apple, and an apple right now is one pound ten pence, and I'm happy to pay one pound ten pence for an apple. I would select market. I would buy my apple for one pound ten pence. But let's say I want to buy an apple for one pound and not one pound ten pence. I would select limit order. I would select one pound. And then when the price moved back down to one pound, I would execute that trade and buy my apple. Same thing with this. Okay. If you're buying into small market cap coins like this, and you're trying to do like a thousand dollars or more, then you don't want to use market guys, because what will happen is it will shoot the price up to fill all the orders and then bring you back down. Okay, so if you need to go in with bigger quantities, which I wouldn't recommend doing anyway because it's meme coins, then use a limit order because it might fill part of your order and then kind of go from there. So that's what the difference between a limit and a market order is. So you can see at the top, you've got like available INJ. I've got 24. Uh, and remember, I'm going to go and buy another one after this particular meme coin. So let's just do half. Here I'm going to just write down, I'm going to write down 10. So it's 10 INJ tokens. Uh, and then you can see basically all the details here. And then all you want to do then is just click on buy. And then it's going to pop up with this and you just need to sign it there. Now, if I go back to the hub, on injective.network you can click on the wallet tab and then you can come down below where it says balances and you can see i've got inj 24 and i've also got my dog with nunchucks ninja tokens in there but i obviously did that wrong because i only bought like 10 ninja which is worth nothing so i go back uh, and then i just buy a few more now on to the last one guys and this one is 
Kira, the injective cat. So again, what we're going to do is copy this particular post page here and then go and look to Tweet Scout or Twitter Scout because what we're looking for, guys, is this. On Tweet Scout, we're going to see whether or not this is kind of like a growing ecosystem, uh, whether it's starting to gain followers because the only thing that's going to drive forward a meme coin is if it's gaining followers and if it's being followed by the right kind of people, okay? So it's gaining followers, good to see. Uh, we can see that in the last kind of few days, it's gone from 1,800 followers on the 17th of December. Currently, it's now at 5,100 followers. That is very, very good. So it's done a 5x in terms of followers in like two days. That's very positive. I think you'll agree. So what we're then going to do is go across and buy some Kira as well. And you're like, oh, well, this is a waste of money. It could well be, guys. It could well be a waste of money. But if one of these coins goes and does like a thousand X and you put a hundred bucks in, that's a hundred thousand dollars. Personally, I'm all right with taking that kind of risk. If you're not, then don't do it. But if you know, you could change potentially $10 into $10,000, then maybe it becomes worthwhile. And you know, maybe you don't, you know, you won't miss that $10. That's, that's my kind of mindset with this. And that's the only mindset you should have with meme coins. They shouldn't be like, I'm going to get rich. It should be like buying a lottery ticket. Okay, because this is buying lottery tickets. So here we are back at Helix app. Then all we need to do, guys, click on trade. Here back in trade, then we're just going to click down where it says Kira. Search for Kira, K-I-R-A. Uh, and then going to click on that. We see the Kira also is down, but I like the idea that it's gaining loads of followers. So maybe we'll have a shot with this one. Clearly, you can then see I'm going to buy Kira. I'm going to put the amount. I'm going to click on 100%. Uh, and then it's just going to execute the rest of the trade. Confirm that for there. Uh, it's then going to go through uh, all of these different processes. I'm just going to go down where it says sign. Click on sign. Uh, and then that's going to complete my trade and complete my buying of meme coins so hopefully you've now seen how it all works and now we come back to my objective hub and you can see i've now got my dog with nunchucks and my kira in there and yeah i can keep an eye on them see what goes on over the next few days maybe if one does like a three or a four x then i'll just sell it up i'll close it out and maybe get into another one or just leave it okay if you're hearing about like meme coins right now, like Bonk and Cock and whatever, don't go and dive too late into them, guys, because it's probably already done. Now, a number of the coins I talked about today and that I've heard about before came from people within my VIP league. Now, myself and Peter Vugd partnered up to be able to offer a mentorship program where each week we'll have a call be able to run people through different trading strategies and things we're using, different ways to analyze the charts and understand exactly what is happening. This is very much a less is more approach. And you can find out all about this link down below in the description where it says Crypto League. Basically, a lot of people out there are putting you into their groups and shilling millions of different coins each week. There's so much noise. You're only ever really one call away or one decent coin call away from making huge amounts of gains. There's nothing else out there like this right now. So if you want to get involved, click on the link down below in the description. It's currently at a massively reduced price and will be going up in the new year. So make sure you secure this price and it will be the monthly price you pay for life. If you go down below, you can find out lots of different stuff about various people that Peter worked with in the last bull market and I've also been working with as well. You'll also get access to tons of different interviews and other different perspectives on how to make money out not just in crypto, but outside of crypto. Absolute no brainer, guys, if you're interested in really knuckling down and making some serious gains in this bull market. All of that can be found linked down below in the description. As well as that, by clicking on that, guys, you'll get this video which we made the other day, breaking down different portfolios and going through some different strategies on how to analyze markets. So that alone is probably worth its own weight in gold. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.